नमस्कार इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मसल मेमोरी इन ऑर्डर टू डेवलप एनी स्किल यू नीड टू बी अवेयर ऑफ व्हाट दिस टर्मिनोलॉजी मींस दिस टर्म इट सेल्फ हैज नथिंग टू डू विद मसल बट व्हाट एवर इज हैपनिंग इन द ब्रेन नाउ फॉर अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ सरस्वती वीणा डेवलपिंग फाइन मोटर स्किल्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दिस मीन्स getting to know how to use the small muscles of the hand the wrist and the fingers now do you remember the early days of your learning your hand was stiff movement on the strings was so slow you had to keep looking at every note that you were playing and the sound that came out from the veena was so scratchy patchy and rough but after a period of learning when you come to the varnams and the kirtanas everything smoothens out now what has happened during this period your constant practicing has created strong connections between the different parts of the brain that are required for this particular skill of playing the saraswati veena now let me explain to you this muscle memory development of muscle memory itself has two different parts two different phases to it the first phase is the encoding phase and the second phase is the consolidating phase the encoding phase is very important because it is during this period you are being introduced to a very new lesson and in our case the new lesson will have a new raga for you to master to be able to play the lesson within the scope of a thala new lyrics different note patterns and of course new techniques that you will have to master over the veena there are so many dimensions therefore for you to pay your attention on regular practice is very important during this stage psychologists say that it takes about 3 to 4 weeks of regular practice of repetition during which the brain is able to encode the new lessons clearly much after you have finished your learning your new lesson practicing it really well having gotten it in your hands you are able to play it very fluently what happens the brain is still consolidating all the information that you have given it it distributes it to the different parts of the brain and it is etched in your memory many a times i have noticed that during the encoding phase where you have to do a lot of intense focus and practice and you have not done it the lesson is forgotten very easily and i'm sure many of you are able to relate to what i am talking about so the encoding phase is a very important phase where tremendous amount of practice has to be done here i would like to give you a few tips about how you will uh, manage yourself during the encoding phase of your uh, lessons now during this period the first and the most important thing that you have to do is practice every day dedicate a special time for uh, your practices see that you are practicing your old lessons as well as your new lesson the second most important thing is be consistent a particular lesson may not interest you so well many times i've noticed that students just jump that lesson and go off to something that they are that will be their favorite no that is not to be done you need to be consistent with your practice whether you like a lesson or not like your lesson you need to practice it the third and most important thing is focus focusing on all the dimensions that you need to focus keep the tala tight see that pauses are never missed see that your raga you are within the scope of the raga see that the techniques that have to be used are properly used so when you are focusing in all these dimensions of playing the encoding in, in the brain is very clear and proper the last but not the least is your own outlook about practice many a times we keep practicing an instrument as a chore as a work now if you look at it as something very stimulating something very refreshing and fun to do your practices will be much more fruitful i hope this awareness about muscle memory helps you in going out there firing your brains practice very well and master your skill on the saraswati veena